Is it really dangerous to use your phone on the plane? That's a great question, Larry, and I think I can answer it very simply. You see, in 2011, actor Alec Baldwin was removed from a plane because he refused to stop playing words with friends on his phone. Now, does anyone seriously think that Alec Baldwin would play fast and loose with safety guidelines when other people's lives... Really? Maybe we need to look at this a little deeper then. So the good news is this. There have been close to one billion global flights since the first commercial mobile phone was sold in 1983. Now, admittedly, in those early days, you would have struggled to get one of these on the plane under the baggage allowance. Nevertheless, over the last 50 years, all across the world, there have been exactly zero plane crashes proven to be caused by people using mobile phones. Now, I know what you're thinking. What about the near misses? As if some failed comedy writer would know every security issue across the world. Sorry. Hurtful! It is hard to find the stats for every single international incident ever. Thankfully, I have this actor here who can read you a line written by the Australian Transport Safety Bureau. <coughs> No ATSB investigation to date has identified interference from a mobile phone as a contributing factor to an aviation safety occurrence. Oh, bravo! So, for any phone-related plane incidents in Australia ever, that's zero. Well, of course there aren't phone incidents on planes. We all turn our phones off, you doofus. Unnecessary and also inaccurate. A 2017 American survey found that about 40% of passengers reported leaving their mobile phones on while flying. And Australia's Civil Aviation Safety Authority explicitly assumes that... Almost one third of passengers will accidentally leave their devices on during the flight. Powerful. So people absolutely do leave their phones on in planes, and yet there are still no incidents. Happy now? Yes. No. Given all that, it seems Nuts. that we have all Blanket. these rules about phone use on planes, and you might ask... Why all the carry-on? Excuse me. So we asked an aviation safety expert what the concerns about phones were originally based upon. Everything that we use, even today, um, they admit an electromagnetic signal. These were interfering with the aircraft systems on several aircraft, and the autopilot turned off all by itself. Huh. And the screens on the aircraft would go blank and then come back on again. But early on, these reports were only anecdotal. They could not be replicated in the lab. In fact, the first mobile phone air restrictions weren't about safety at all. They were requested by the US Communications Agency to take congestion pressure off their ground phone network. Still, concerns grew. There was one particular piece of equipment called the radio altimeter, which measures how high the aircraft is from the ground that was causing major concern. It would say 20,000 feet, 5,000 feet, 5 feet, 20,000, 15,000. It was jumping up and down. Would you say knowing where the ground is is important in air travel? <laughs> well, absolutely it is. You have to remember, takeoffs are optional, landings are mandatory. Things became more serious when NASA began releasing reports into these occurrences. They identified several anomalies and they realized that the anomalies were being created in the back of the airplane. Anomalies sounds kind of dangerous to Oh, not necessarily. Anomalies are irregularities or abnormalities in instruments that don't necessarily affect the safety of the plane. You play Americans as well. Yeah. You're so versatile. <laughs> Thanks really so cool. much. Cool. Chaz, the issue 20 years ago is no longer with us. So they shielded all of the critical instrumentation to protect it from this electromagnetic interference from the back end of the airplane. Doug says that 5G phones do provide new challenges because the frequencies they use are sometimes very close to plane instrument frequency. But on the other hand, some countries have already allowed the full use of 5G phones on planes without incident. In Europe, no incidents have been recorded where the aircraft has been mishandled or needed to do something different because of the 5G network. Doug says that despite this, he still turns his phone onto flight mode when asked, and you should too. I've been in this industry for over 40 years, and things do happen on airplanes, and I know that things have caused interference on airplanes. But that's not the only issue that this is going to create. The most critical factor that I want Sorry, to point sir. out... All devices now need to be switched to flight mode. <sighs> 
Actually, there are some examples where phones have definitely caused disasters, but not because of interference and not because of passengers. This is your pilot speaking? Those guys. We couldn't get a pilot to talk to us on the record, but this is what they told us unofficially. We pilots all carry mobile devices in the cockpit. In fact, there are certain situations where we are encouraged to use them to contact air traffic control or maintenance teams. And pilots haven't always used their phones wisely. In 2010, a Jetstar flight had to abort a landing after the pilot forgot to turn off their phone and was so distracted by the sound of notifications they... Oh, they forgot to lower the landing gear. And the fatal 2003 crash of a charter flight to New Zealand has been blamed on the pilot making a phone call home minutes before landing. Oh, gotta go. Hey, is this just one of those anomalies? We're all gonna die! God! Bottom line, though, the Australian Civil Aviation Safety Authority, that is the authority on aviation safety, are so unworried about the use of phones on planes that they've explicitly chosen to not prohibit the use of phones on planes and have allowed the airlines to decide their own policies, which you then have to follow. So, all of this does underline, and if you're watching this on a plane and you're not the pilot, and I really hope you're not, the statistics say it is very, very, very unlikely that you leaving your phone on is gonna cause the plane to... Oh, 